In the previous set of videos, we've we'd learned about a concept called as nomenclature and we learned how to name the compounds. In this video, we are going to be talking about isomerism. So isomerism is basically the property exhibited by molecules or rather it's not a property but it's a phenomenon which phenomenon which is which is shown by molecules which have the same molecular function sorry molecular formula but they vary with respect to certain physical and chemical properties so when isomerism is mainly classified into two structural isomerism and stereoisomerism so structural isomerism will have the same molecular formula because that's the basic idea behind isomerism and they will vary in terms of the arrangement of atoms in the molecule so uh, based on that variation and arrangement we have four types of structural isomers chain isomerism position isomerism functional group isomerism and metamerism next in case of stereo isomerism you'll be learning it in detail uh, after you know i think in the following uh, chapters but the basic thing you need to know is that in case of structural isomerism we're only talking about the arrangement of the atoms whereas in stereo isomerism we're, we'll be talking about how the atoms are arranged in three-dimensional space and that in turn will lead to various uh, changes in terms of properties in terms of the way they um, their physical property as in there's this concept called them being able to be optically active that is the optic isomers so you'll be learning all of that in detail at a later point in this video we will be talking predominantly about structural isomerism so as i told you there are four types that we we'll, we are studying about the way you need you can remember each definition of these isomer the, the each kind of isomerism is by remembering an example for each so the first one is chain isomerism so here there is a difference in terms of the arrangement of atoms carbon atoms in the chain so here first of all methane ethane and propane do not show chain isomerism now in case of butane here, this is a butane, uh, butane straight chain. So it has a molecular formula of C4H10. Now, basically, this carbon atom has been pushed over here. Hydrogen has been given to it. And, oh, I'm sorry, this is not 2-methyl butane. It's actually 2-methyl propane. So, if you see, butane, a four-membered chain, the basic four-membered chain has become a three-membered chain. Chain. So there is a difference in terms of the chain length. So here you have both of them have the same molecular formula that is C4H10. Next example here we have pentane. Pentane's molecular formula is C5H12. So C5H12 can be arranged in a straight line or one of the CH2 groups is pushed here. And this leads to the formation of 2-methyl butane. So it went from a 5-membered straight chain to a 4-membered straight chain. But the molecular formula is still the same. Then again, here one more CH2 has been shifted over here. And it became a 3-membered straight chain. And the there are 2-methyl groups which have been substituted. Similarly, in case of an alcohol group present with pentane, so pentanol, here the first one is similar to 2-methylbutane, but here you have an alcohol group, so it's going to be butanol. Here the chain length is 4 carbons, here has it's 5, and here it is 3. Similarly, here also it was 5, 4, and 3. Here it was 4, and it became Three. So there is a difference in chain length. Chain isomerism, here there is a difference in chain length. They are the same molecular formula, but they'll, obviously their name will be different. The IUPAC name will be different because there is a change in their chain length. The next type of isomerism is position isomerism. So here, in this case, obviously, as isomerism calls for, we'll have the same molecular formula. However, the position of the functional group is going to be different. And this functional group can be an, uh, you know, all the functional groups that we studied, or it can also be a double 
or a triple bond as well. So here you have propanol and propentol. Here it's the, the alcohol is at the first carbon whereas the alcohol group is at the second carbon in the in this case so there is a change in position of the functional group and that is called that is why it's called a position isomer here similarly but one in and but two in the carbon the first carbon has a double bond in this case and here in this case the car second carbon has the double bond so there is a change in position similarly ortho meta and para dichlorobenzene all the three compounds have the same formula C6H4Cl2. So two hydrogen atoms have been substituted in benzene ring with chlorine. And here the position of the chlorine is at different. Here it's 1, 2, that's why ortho, 1, 3 and that's why it's meta and 1, 4 is para. So positional isomers have the same molecular formula but the position of the functional group is different. In the next video, we will be continuing with the structural isomerism. That is, we'll be learning about functional group isomerism as well as metamerism. So do check it out.